was his name, and justice was his game. He lived in Crime City, where he knew he could take all the crime down. Hello? Yeah. This is Freedom. What? There's been another murder. I'll be down to the crime scene within the next 15 minutes. Yeah. Okay, I'll see you there, Chief. Huh. I can't believe there's been another murder. What was I expecting from crime scene, though? Best drive down to that crime scene now. Kid was dead. He was 19. Shot by 22. The only 22 he'll ever see in his life. <laughs> I can't believe the kid was killed on his birthday. <laughs> this is always what happens. Well, I recognize him. He's little Bobby Zeminski from down the road. Oh, he's from the Catholic parish. Yeah, I'll go down. Tell his parents. <laughs> Don't think they'll be taking it well. Not well at all. Yes, Mrs. Zeminski, I've got some bad news. Your son's dead. Oh no, how did he die? He was shot by 22, uh, 22 millimeter dead. Oh my god, find his killer, find him please. That's the hardest part of the job, tell him your son's dead. Best file this report, find this killer, and find out who is doing this crime. It's the Gates, the Gates Crime City. Some people check in, but some people never seem to check out. Implement a curfew. If you aren't out in time, you might as well be dead. I can't believe I'm walking into Crime City. I can't believe I'm walking into the belly of the beast. Crime City, where I could find my suspect. Find who uh, murdered Bobby Zeminski. Find who did this horrible crime and why. And why they did it. John Zombie Man's house. <laughs> Should have known. Let me in. And if he doesn't, I'll question him one way or the other. Yeah, I know nothing about the Zeminski boy. Yes, you do. Okay, I do. The big boss wants him dead because he owed him 10 G's. 10 G's large. That's all I can say. Go find him, you find your killer. I will. I'm gonna find Zombie Men's boss. I think his boss is John Ratman. Yes. And then when I get him, I'm gonna question him. Ask him why he gives Zeminski 10 G's. 10 G's to a small town kid that has nothing to do with crime. Why did he kill him? Why did he do all this? Or oh, he'll feel the force of freedom. Best get to the big boss's house. I know where exactly he lives. We were at the big boss's house. Big boss's house, indeed. This is me, the big boss. I gave the Zeminski kid 10,000. He said he wanted to go down to the harbor to buy a boat. Why? I don't know. I did not kill him. It must have been somebody else. So find the real killer before you blame me. Right, freedom. Or do you not believe in justice? I believe in freedom, alright? And I believe in justice. But if I find out you're one bit involved, Big Boss, I'm coming to get you. Law. Or no law. Now the real question is, why did that kid need 10 grand to buy a boat? What was he going to do with the boat? And why? I'd best go down to the pier and see where he was at. Best take the local police helicopter down to the pier to see what's happening down there. Why a kid needs a boat? Why did he need it for 10 Gs? Hmm. I'm going down. I'll solve this case one way or another. And if they don't tell me what's happening in there, and if I don't find a clue, oh, I'm going to come back to Big Boss and sort him out one way 
or another. Oh yes, I said I'd follow the river, the river of lies. I don't believe that big boss at all. I believe he's somehow involved. Finally, I get to the boat and realise it's not worth 10 Gs. The big boss has been lying the whole time. I'm going to take him down, one way or another. Well, I best get back to the big boss's house and have a confrontation with him and see why he lied to me. So why did you lie? I lied to get you away from me, but now you've caught me. Well, I'm going to arrest you now. I have diplomatic communities. Don't worry, I'll bring you in. And this time, there'll be justice on a cold plate with me, freedom.